This is Master Gio at Exotica 2018 with the loving and Tasha Gray. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So how's Exotica been treating you? It's been good. I just got here 10 minutes ago and I met my favorite fan already. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you decide to be a cam girl? So I knew I wanted to be a cam girl when I was 17. I was dating a guy who showed me Chatterbait. And I instantly, I was like, wait a minute, girls get paid to flash their titties? Like, I need to be doing this. So the second I turned 18, I went to the DMV, I got my license, and before I even got home, I was signed up to be a cam girl. I was so excited. <laughs> awesome. What's most fun about being a cam girl? Um, Getting paid to do crazy things. Like, the other day I discovered I have a fake blood fetish, and I somebody tipped me to, like, rub fake blood all over me. And people tip me to do stupid stuff that just like makes my heart happy, like eating pizza or like the stupidest things that you think, why do people give her money for that? <laughs> I was going to bring up the fake blood. Being a horror fan, I fucking love that. That was, that was probably one of my favorite things you've done. Me too. I think I might need to add like a couple gallons of fake blood to my Amazon wish list or something because Halloween's every day for me. I just need to look like Carrie like 24-7. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> did uh, somebody do the, the fake blood for you or did you buy it? No, I just bought it. It was literally called, I can't believe it's not blood. <laughs> and I just, like, I'd put it in my hands and go like this and just, like, make a gigantic mess. <laughs> Has there been any other favorites of yours that you've done for uh, as a cam girl? Um, there's so many favorites, it's hard to pick. But it's funny because I discover, like, new things about myself so often. Like, I would have never thought that I love anal as much as I do now that I'm a cam girl. So it's just like random little things you discover about your sexuality, like when you least expect it. What turns you on the most about anal? Um, cute little butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was anal? Was that the first time you tried anal? Um, no, I had tried it a couple times, and the first couple tries are always a little not so fun. But eventually. I learned to love it slowly but surely. All right. I'm uh, excited for the uh, Inked Awards tonight. Yes, I'm so excited. Like I was telling you, it, it'll be my first award since cup sacking in second grade. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. That's got to be your caption when you win, because I think you will. <laughs> um, my first of my first award since <laughs> stack, <laughs> cup stacking. Uh, you have any projects lined up? Um, not necessarily, unfortunately. Let me think. Just tons more photo shoots. Okay. That's really it. <laughs> and what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I like to skateboard. I like to listen to Cannibal Corpse and find cute goth boys to fuck. <laughs> Ooh, well, I like those last two answers quite a bit. <laughs> so, you mentioned Cannibal Corpse. Um, what have you been listening to recently? So recently, I've been listening to Deicide, and I really like Obituary. I'm trying to think what other bands. I like Morbid Angel a lot. Morbid. I love like the older death metal. I don't really like new death metal very much, but I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, any final words? Thank you for interviewing me and coming and seeing me. Of course. And where can your fans find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Natasha X Gray. All right, thank you so much, Natasha.